Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. So I thought I'd try something new today. Uh, so I'm walking around the Vibe District, obviously sweating my ass off. And I'm using my Sony a7 III in APC mode so that I can use the 18 to 105 f4 lens. That just because. I wanted to see how it worked. I've only ever shot in full frame mode. There comes a jet. and an unprecedented three of them tick off. Okay. All right, I think they're far enough away. Anyways, as I was saying, I decided to use the A7 III in APC mode so that I can use it with the 18 to 105 f4 lens. I do have an ND filter on it, even though it's not full sunny out right now. Actually, it's getting close to storming, so I was able to run around and do some quick filming and get myself a drink. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I think that it, uh, the idea of taking a full frame camera and putting it into APC mode has its advantages and its disadvantages uh, in that you, know, you can use a lot of lenses that you normally couldn't use which you have to do when you're in this mode. Because if I put this lens on here and left it in full frame mode, you would see the, you know, the big circle because it's, it's not big enough. The lens itself is not big enough for the size of the sensor. So if you put it into APC mode, it only uses a certain part of the sensor. So it works with the lens, which is good. Since I decided to get rid of some of my lenses, which obviously don't really have a lot to do with anything that I do on a normal basis, I would never use the 90 millimeter macro 2.8 to, to film with. It's just not a lens that I would, I would film with. I mean, there's no point. I mean, I can understand using it because you get down to 2.8 and the other lenses that I have are F4s, but I've never really had a problem with low light and the F4 is you just set everything else to work. And, and for the most part it does. At this point, I do have the 35 millimeter 1.8, which gets down more than enough so I wouldn't ever really have to worry about low light with that. So this was nothing spectacular. All I wanted to do was see how this lens looked paired with this camera and in APC mode, since again, I've never done that. So I took you know, a little bit of footage around and I'll kind of describe it right now and overlay the footage on top of it. So what you can see right now is this, I don't know, I guess it's called like a hundred year plant I just read an article about it. It only blooms once in its lifetime and it's due to bloom at any point now. It, it looks like a big asparagus plant. Here, I'm just showing you the little row there where they had people basically paint signs that had to do with Vibe District or Virginia Beach. And there you go. These are also birdhouses that were built for the area, which are pretty cool. Although I've never seen a bird in them before. This is just basically what I did the other day to show you the razor sharpness if you go down to like 1.8 on a, on a lens. So here is just some little critters in the, I guess you want to call it outdoor dining area outside of Three Ships Coffee where I spend a good deal of time. Okay, believe it or not, quick video today. Just wanted to give this all a test. I'll have all of the parameters and settings and everything down below in the description, but you can see how it looks. I think it all looks pretty fantastic. Sony hasn't let me down so far. Uh, well, except with their shitty imaging app, but we won't go there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will, as usual, get back to you as soon as possible and let me know what you think. As always, thanks for joining me.
like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward nub.